Welcome to Warwick Clinical Skills videos. My name is Professor Vinod Patel. Today we're going to cover thyroid examination. Please be aware that all our clinical skills videos are based on the current edition of the Warwick Clinical Skills chess book. But locally, your examination sequences may be a little different and please make sure that you use the local sequence that you'll be assessed on. Today, we'll cover thyroid examination. Hello, my name's Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do a thyroid examination uh, check on you today. So before we start, could we please confirm your name and date of birth? It's Anita Kumar, 8th of the 3rd, 78. Thank you. So in terms of uh, doing this examination today, it's going to involve me having a look at your hands, having a look at your face, getting you to do some movements with your eyes, and then I'm going to put my hands on your neck and I'm going to examine the gland from the front and also behind, and then we'll have a look at your feet. Is that okay? Yes. Super. Just starting off, just having a look at you, you appear to be calm at rest. I can't see any abnormal movements. There's no obvious paraphernalia around the patient, and I can't see any uh, suggestion of uh, weight loss. So if you could have a look at your hands, please. So having a look at the back of the hands, I can't see um, any sweating. These hands don't appear to be uh, abnormal temperatures. There's no um, scaling or dryness visible to the skin. And having a look at the nails, I can't see any brittle nails. Uh, there's no evidence of onculysis, uh, any splitting of the nails. I can't see any scaling of the skin, nor evidence of waxiness or dry skin. Checking over the palms, we've got a normal temperature. So if you just keep your hands there for me and just stretch your arms all the way out in front, please. I'm just going to put a bit of paper on there. And I can't see any um, uh, tremors there, so we know we don't have a problem. Thank you. If you could turn your hands over so I can have a look at your palms. And I can't see any evidence of um, wasting to the thena eminences. There's no uh, palmar erythema, so redness to the palms either. If you could put your fingers together like so, so you, the nails are going together, that's fantastic, and I can see Shamroth's window coming through clearly. If I could take your pulse on both sides, please. Checking the radial pulse, and just checking against the clock. Okay, so you've got a normal rate and rhythm, and looking at the clock, so your pulse is uh, at 62 beats a minute. I'm just going to move a little bit higher from it. You can relax the arm down and checking a larger bore artery. So here I'm looking for the character, the strength of your pulse. And we've got an excellent pulse there coming through the arm, so I can feel everything nice and normal as we would expect. So having had a look at your brachial pulse, we're now just going to focus on your eyes to start off with. So do you have any problems with your vision that you're aware of? No. Super. Could you put a hand over one eye for me? Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? Four. Okay. And swap eyes for me? Two. Fantastic. So you can relax for me. So I'm just going to stand up and I'm going to have a look at your eyes, both from behind, so I'll be looking over the top of your head, and also from the side. Is that okay? Yes. Super. So just having a look from the top, I can't see any evidence of the eyes coming forwards, nor from the side. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to ha focus on your eyes now. So looking underneath, I can't see any whiteness underneath the iris, which is great. I'm just going to check that a little bit further. So I'm a metre away from you. So if you could focus on my finger, and please keep your head still and follow my finger with your eyes. Excellent. So at no point there did I see any additional whiteness um, above your iris. So we know that your vision is fine. We're going to have a look to see if you get any blurring or doubling of your vision now. So please keep your head still and I want you to follow my finger with your eyes. Any double vision? No. 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 Fantastic. So we've done the full uh, range of eye movements and I couldn't see any issues there. Okay. So I'm just going to get the pen torch. Could you open your mouth for me, please? And say, ah. Ah. 
And put your tongue out, please. That's great. I keep relax. So I can't see any obvious issues there. If I could just get you to take a small uh, swallow of water, hold it in your mouth, and then swallow, please. Okay, everything moves as we'd expect it to be. And looking at the neck, I can't see any obvious uh, swellings. There's no scars. Uh, there's no um, obvious changes to uh, the lie of the trachea. So visually, everything looks to be normal with your thyroid. What I'd like to do now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go be uh, stand behind you and put my hands on your neck. Is that okay? Okay, so I'm just going to put my hands on your neck to um, check the thyroid. Is that okay? Yes, it is. So, just going initially, is there any feelings of tenderness as I palpate around here? No, there isn't. Super. So that's the isthmus. There's no issues there. And checking over the lobes of the thyroid, that's normal. And just checking the position of the trachea, that's nice and central. If you could take another sample of water, please, and hold it in your mouth. And then swallow for me, please. Fantastic. Just going to check around to see if there's any other lumps or bumps. Now I'm just going to see if there's any other lumps or bumps. So checking submental lymph nodes, checking for uh, submandibula, checking the tonsillar, parotid, preauricular, postauricular, checking behind at the occipital. Okay, and then checking our posterior and anterior cervical chains. Okay, and then checking along the clavicles. So that's all fine, thank you. So palpating your neck, so uh, checking your thyroid from behind, I couldn't see any abnormalities. I'm now going to do the same, but I'm going to tap across the front of your chest, if that's okay? Yes. Okay. So we've gone four inches down the front of your chest and everything sounds completely normal. Now I'm going to have a listen over your neck to see if I can hear any abnormal sounds. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to hold your breath, if you could. Okay, take a deep breath in for me, please, and hold it. And breathe normally. And take a deep breath in for me, and hold it. And breathe normally. So everything was completely normal there, there were no added sounds. So at this point, I'm going to have a look at your uh, ankles, if that's okay. Do you mind if I press over them? Press okay. So just pressing with three fingertips. And there's no edema there. And then on the other side. And again, there's no edema. And I can't see any other changes to the skin there. Now, what I'd like you to do is, with one leg, I'd like you to kneel just on the back of your chair so the foot is in space, if we could, please. And I'm going to tap it with a tendon hammer. Okay. So we're just going to check for the reflexes in your ankle. So I'm going to squeeze the calf, and I can see the foot moving nicely. I'm going to press on the ankle and strike. Put on the ankle and strike. So we've got excellent reflexes there. If we could get you to swap to put the other leg up for me. And again... So the Achilles is intact. Super, thank you. So we've got magnificent movement there, so we know those reflexes are good. OK, um, you can sit down for me, please. To complete our examination, we'd also like to check your blood pressure, because that can sometimes be affected in patients with thyroid problems. We'd also like to do an upper and lower neurological examination to check your powers, and also do a carpal tunnel examination. Do you have any other questions for myself at the moment? No, I don't. So in terms of the additional thyroid checks, uh, we'd like to check your blood pressure. Do you have a problem with either of your arms? No, I don't. Super. So if we could start off with your right arm, if that's OK. And we're just going to check that this goes around more than eight, uh, 80 centimetres. That's fine. And relax down for me. So I'm just going to inflate the cuff, feeling over your pulse at the wrist. And just releasing it. 
and the pulse has come back at approximately 110. So I'm going to do the same again now, but I'm now going to have a listen for the pulse. I'm going to go a wee bit higher than we did. So the sounds have disappeared. And we'll just wait for them to come back. So the sounds have returned about 110. And they've disappeared at 78. So that's all fantastic. In terms of the other uh, thyroid special tests, I'm now going to get you to do some movements with your hands if you could. So we're going to do Phelan's sign. So if you could put your hands together like so, we're trying to get a good right angle at your wrists. That's fantastic. And now we're going to ask you to stay in that position for one minute. As I'm watching the clock, I want you to tell me if you feel anything happening to your hands, if you feel any sensations, anything abnormal happening. No, I don't. So we're 30 seconds into the test now. Any changes to your hands at the moment? No changes. Good. And now we're a minute through the test. Have you noticed any changes at all to your hands? No, I haven't. Super. So if you could put your hands on your thighs with your palms facing upwards for me. We're going to do the same again, but I'm now going to do a tunnels test. So I'm going to tap directly over the flexor retinaculum, so the area where your carpal tunnel is. Any problems as I did that? No. Super. And we're going to do the same again. Any problems with that? No. So just to clarify, at no point when we did either of those examinations, there were no pins and needles at all? No, there wasn't. Super. If you could just make the OK sign for me. Now, don't let me pull th my fingers through. Fantastic. And again, don't let me pull through. That's brilliant. OK, so you uh, seem to have normal strength. That's fine. So. We've completed the special tests for our thyroid examination. Do you have any additional questions for myself? No, I don't. Super. Thank you very much for your time.